Good afternoon. Uh, I want to thank the organizer for giving me the chance of presenting this, this paper. The amount of archaeological sites with rock art uh, suggests the importance of this activity in the human groups that move and settle in the central Andes from the archaic to the Republican period. Painted or engraved art construct, construct a cultural landscape through its dispos dispos disposition, technique, and iconography. This paper is presented in two parts. The first one provides a general view of Central Andes rock art, and the second one introduces you to our current research project. The degree of knowledge of the different rock art complexes in the Andean area, as in the rest of the world, is, is a result of historical conjectures such as colonialism or by current opportunities such as the possibility of having budget dedicated to the investigation. However, in countries, in countries uh, such as Peru, the recent history of armed conflicts has been a uh, deterrent to the investigation on the ground. Rock art exists in all ecosystems. However, there is much difference on the amount of data available depending on the location. location. In fact, there is more documentation in the coastal zones constituting constituting and more numerous corpus of sites. Archaeological excavation in rock art sites have been, have been very scarce in Peru. This is the reason why up to now the, stilic the stylistic analysis is the most common instrument for its classification. Motifs and figures, figures in rock art and other elements susceptible of being dated, especially ceramic or textiles, allow the integration of sites with art to periods, horizon, and or archaeological traditions. There are three technological types documented in the Andean area, geoglyphs, paintings, and petroglyphs. They are always manifestations that take place outdoors, being beings until today one of the main char characteristics of the Andean rock art. Also, Andean rock art is normally painted and engraved in boulders, isolated rock walls, rock shelters, aves and shallow caves, and the, at rocky hills, hillsides. It's important to note that in Central Andes, systematic reuse of the same spaces for painting or engraving is common practice. Overlapping of signifiers has been documented in many sites throughout Peru. This fact has indeed allowed a relative chronological sequences of these manifestations. Focusing on today's Peru territories in earlier art, two stylistic tendencies are known. The first one with aniconic representation like abstract figures and designs. The second one with iconic representation such as wild camellids and other animals and human representation in hunting extents. The camellid motifs in Choquepala and Zumbai sites Uh, would be related to occupation dating from the excavation carried out by Muelle between 11,198 and 10,413 AP in the first site and 7,300 uh, AP in Zambai site excavated by Neira. The, archaeologi the archaeologist Adam Umire has recorded several sites with bosses and in this in in 
incised sorry, abstract figures in the northern sector of the Lake Titicaca base. There are engraved in vertical or inclined walls of eaves and small caves and small caves. The author associates this, this rock art to an early pre-ceramic base, base on the association with lithic artifact collected from the surrounding areas. The richest the repositories of rock art have have their origins in the latest hunter gatherer society societies which are contemporary with farmers in his con in this context hunter gander gardeners communities represent hunting extent while pastoral groups represent represent domesticated camellies in an, in a naturalistic and semi-naturalistic style. In Central Andes and, the si and in sites 3,500 meters above sea level, large figures of painted camellies are represented in profile with mm, bulky bodies. At the same time, petroglyphs began to widespread in the different Andean regions, undergoing a process of schematization in their repertories, including other space, spaces specific to its territory, in addition to camelids. The, the creation of rock art intensified in the agropastoral societies of the region, whose iconography is associated with local cultural traditions. There are representation of both su supernatural animals, human and schematic geometric and non-figurative figur figures, which are sometimes similar to the images captured in other supports, such at, as, as the styles, ceramics or sculptures. An iconography so diverse that accounts not only for the cultural difference between the societies and that produce it, but also for the social difference in terms or roles or status that we can infer, especially through the anthropomorphic designs that show attributes such as headdresses or objects associated with them. State society, so, so societies also produce rock art, and in the Andean case, most of the of it is related to the Inca Empire named Tahuantinsuyo. The iconography acquires the stylist, stylistic pattern that the Inca state diffuse. For example, the symmetrical designs, the images of llamas in profile, rigid and schematic, with only two legs are characteristic of this period <coughs> as well as the anthropomorphs wearing clothing with geometric design. Also, it decreases compared compare to previous time during colonial times and even during the Republican period, the local communities continue with the practice of marking the rocks. Traditional techniques are maintained and new images and narratives are incorporated into the same an ancestral spaces. With contextual variants inter, inter and extra sites, the most common iconography corresponds to that of the horseman and horseback, isolate and calvary crosses, churches, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic figures with hats or other attributes such as tunic typical of the clergy, this associated with Catholic worship or to religious performance. Within contemporary sacred landscapes, ancient rock art continues to play a role. Its association with natural elements highlighted in the landscape is notable and frequent fe feature in the Andes. These elements are part of the deities that the extirpation of idolatry failed to eradicate. We see examples of this conception in many places. 
The shelter called Chamayo Caca, Caca in Pisac, Peru, which houses paintings representation mainly of camellias, is visited by pilgrims who go to the sanctuary of the Christian Kojuriti Lord to act as guests with the help of the paintings. This activity is extremely important because it teaches us that paintings remain part of a complex cosmovision and shows uh, that their vitality in still, is still present. In the painted shelter of Gutimbo Chico in Puno, the local population regularly leave offerings or payments in their craft. Offerings consist of coca leaves, cigars, sweets, and bottles with tita, a fermented core drink. At present, Rock paintings and geoglyphs are still being used, used uh, throughout the country for political propaganda. Within the process of creating knowledge about ancient population, rock art plays a special role as a privileged, privileged actor within the social strategies of landscape construction. Landscape was vitally important to the peoples who produced rock art in Andes. Painted or engraved places may have a, had multiple connotations for those who have produced them and have been associated with them. Among others, they may have been reference sites or meeting points, territory boundaries, roads, obstacles in the way, in the cases of showing uh, land, natural resource, and raw materials for exploitation. Um, in our opinion, analysis of rock art there must investigate the connection between this art and the landscape. In this sense, my team and I conducted an investigation in the Rio Loco Basin, Santa Province, Ancash region in the north central zone of Peru. Our project is a part of my own uh, doctoral uh, thesis entitled Archaeology of Rock Art in the Central Andean Landscape, Cultural and Temporal Context of the Painting Manifestation of the Ballet of ne Nepelia uh, Ballet and Casperu. It's curious, uh, or, or one of the mm, project's objectives is to establish links points between rock art and vertical control of the ecozone of the valley through, through time. Uh, it's curious, for example, that painting sites only disappear from uh, 1,380 uh, 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 meters uh, higher above sea level, and they are associated with the, transi the tran tran transition of two eco eco ecological steps, the, jung the Junga and the Quechua. In fact, between the sea and this uh, height, there are only engravings. The project was achieved by conducting a regional survey, detailed, detailed documentation and stratigraphic excavation at key site, uh, sites. This project also intends to fill a major gap in regional da data set as this area has not previously been investigated. The, the site chosen for carrying out the archaeological excavation are two. Um, they are the first sites in the valley with cave paintings. Both are associated with a spectacular rock uh, formation of granite and tonatolite uh, and are associated with the current path that runs through the valley. Both sites are located under one of the sacred hill of the area, called, uh, called Cerro Escalón. Uh, the panties in both cases are outdoors and invisible places that look into the path. This is a Totocaja uh, site. This, this large rock appears only painted in, in, in one side. I'm finished. <laughs> Uh, the panel has uh, the the main pan the panel has a total leg of seven meters. 
the design are figurative and non-figurative. Many of them are superimposed. Superimposed. Uh, the color used are reds and yellows with, in a, in a wide range. Uh, this is the um, the other side, Mutumachai side. The painting appears uh, only on the apes f uh, that from uh, that form a large rock. Um, most of the paintings have disappeared due to the spalling uh, of the rock. Only red, only red, a uh, figurative and non-figurative design, um, apparently from different chronology, are observed. Uh, well, finally, I um, want to tell you that the research project is in the early stage yet. So we hope that next year we can show to the the results. Thank you very much for your attention.